So Tesla beat earnings expectations, but the stock price is down 12% since. Well, over 30% since the recent highs. Bruh. Now, just tell me, does that make any sense? Of course it doesn't. Right now, the markets are irrational. It dips more than it should, and it sometimes moons when it should, when it's irrational. But this is what market volatility is, and it's completely normal. So in general, don't worry, do not sell. Literally, that's probably the dumbest thing you will do if you do sell, so do not sell, especially Tesla stock. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys an updated stock price video every year up until 2030. I've already made a Tesla stock price up until 2030, like last year, and man, these numbers that I'm gonna show you today blows out, out of the water, what my prediction did, man. It's completely destroyed it. But that video is still full of good information, so if you guys wanna check it out, Check it out. Since then, I have updated my little simple chart here with everything we need to know to give a solid prediction. Hey guys, I'm Curious Peggy, and I'm a very curious guy. I'm curious to know that if I go all in on Tesla today, will it make me rich tomorrow? You know, get the Lambos and the mansions. I bet you're wondering that too, if you should invest in Tesla now sort of position, or probably buy more to your position or just sell your complete position and just wait for a new bottom to get in. Well, all I can tell you is, is that selling right now is a very bad idea and I have the proof to back it up. Let's go ahead and get into the prediction. All I ask for return is a like and subscribing if you haven't already. All right, let's get down to this prediction. All right, so as you guys can see here, if you guys have been following my channel for some time, this chart is very familiar. It's basically a prediction simplified as much as possible. This one is more tailored towards Tesla. And for Tesla's prediction, the updated prediction, I made two cases. I made a base case and a bull case. And we're gonna run through those together right now. So I did update a little bit of the 2020 and 2021. If you guys go back to the first Tesla video I made, there are some updates here in the 2020 and 2021. More detailed and more confirmed data is here. 2020, the stock price averagely was at 534, which shot up in 983 in 2021, which obviously it did go up to 1200, but then average, it was around $983 with obviously over a trillion in market cap. There's one thing that I do wanna point out is that in 2021, yes, the net income was five and a half billion, but there was a 340 payroll tax, a one-time tax. So let's go ahead and add it and let's see what that's gonna give us. So once we add the $340 million into the net income, that would give us an EPS, a higher EPS obviously, uh, but with the stock price of being an average of just in the mid 1000s, which would be reasonable and where it should be right now. But because people did not see this payroll tax and it did catch everybody in surprise, everybody wanted to have the EPS um, at $2.80, but it was at $2.54. Although they beat the expectations and earnings, they did not see this payroll tax as a one-time thing. We will never see this again. Maybe every five or six years we will because obviously they wanna exercise maybe other options because Elon still has a little bit left. But this is such a bad reason to go and sell off your stock because it's just a payroll time. I mean, like it's only a one-time fee. So like seeing the market reaction dip 10% because of that, well, with some other reasons too, we'll get the reason why it dipped, it dipped 10%, but this payroll tax, if it wasn't there, the stock price wouldn't be going down as much as it is today. Now, the one thing here that I did add for the Tesla prediction chart is the vehicle sold. I added this so it can guide us much better and easier. As we can see in 2020, it was half a million. And then in 2021, it was literally almost double, almost 100%. Tesla claims they're gonna grow every year at 50%, but in 2021, they grew literally 100% almost, like 90% or something, which is just absolutely insane. Now in 2020, we have the new Gigafactories coming, Berlin and Austin, as we all know, and we know that these guys are gonna be <laughs> they're gonna push the production and delivery to a whole new level. We'll talk about that part in the bull case, but right now let's just stick to what Tesla is saying that every single year they're gonna grow at a 50% rate. That's their words, not mine, but that's what they're going to say, 50%. So we're just gonna we're gonna stick that number, and 50% of 936,000 is 1.4 million cars delivered, and 1.4 million cars delivered at $50,000 each. That's gonna be the average for every car being sold which in my opinion, I think
think this is, I think they're going to blow it out of the water again in 2022, but we'll talk about that in the bull case. So for the net income, what I did was, is that in 2021, the net income was about 10% of uh, the total revenue. So in 2022, I said that their net income is going to be 15% instead, although it'll be much more than that, but I like to stay conservative and this would give us a 10 and a half billion dollars in net income, which is just absolutely insane. For the shares outstanding, if you guys watched my first Tesla stock price video, every year I said they're gonna dilute 6%, but knowing that Tesla's gonna be a cash cow and just making all this money, there's no need for them to dilute that much. So what I said was is that in 2020, they're gonna dilute only 5% from 2021, which will give us almost 1.2 billion. And for the coming years, I dropped my dilution from 6% to 3%. Although it's gonna be much lower than that, I don't think Tesla's gonna dilute that much. There's no need for them to in the first place, but just to be conservative, and this is the number that we get. By 2030, it should we should have about one and a half billion in shares outstanding. With all this net income and shares outstanding given, the EPS for 2022 would be almost $9 per share, which is just absolutely crazy, man. This would be insane. Given that, I believe in 2022, which is this year, obviously, I think they're going to be averaging around PE of 170 rather than 200. And this PE is gonna continue to drop as we go to 2030. And just to do that quickly, I said by 2030, a 30 PE should be reasonable. Although I don't believe it's going to be 30 by 2030, I think it's still gonna be in the 50s or 60s, but I'm just to keep everything very very conservative we should get a stock price of just over fifteen hundred dollars which that's what all the analysts are saying they're saying 14 base 16 bowl 18 bowl you know they're predicting between these numbers but 1500 seems to be the sweet spot in 2022 as an average that sounds pretty legit i mean if if the vehicle sold was 1.4 million, which I believe it's not. Again, that's gonna be in the bull case. Going to 2023, 50% of 1.4 million cars sold is about 2.1 million. And again, with a $50,000 average price sold for each vehicle will give us $105 billion in total revenues. Now for 2023, I increased their margin instead of being 15%, I said 18%, although I think the margin is gonna be a whole lot better in 2023, and that's gonna give us a net income of almost almost $19 billion. With the EPS being over 15 and a half and the PE being 130, the stock price should be over 2000, which is okay, not bad. That's fine, you know, that's not bad at all. You know, 2000, that's not bad. But again, that's only if they sell 2.1 million cars and the market cap's almost two and a half trillion. That's not bad at all. Going to 2024, 50% of 2023 vehicles sold will give us almost 3.2 million in cars sold with the $50,000 average cost selling price give us, gives us a $158 billion with an income being 20% margin so we're going 18 percent in 2023 now we're going to 20 percent and this would give us 31 and a half billion dollars with an eps being 25 bucks per share which is just absolutely insane with the pe with 100 gives us a stock price of two and a half thousand dollars per share exceeding three trillion in market cap by 2024 which is crazy that's like apple today right now so if it's gonna take literally two more years to reach three trillion market cap that's just insane that's really really crazy and so on if we just go ahead and drag 2025 50 percent every single year for vehicles sold to 2030 by 2030 we're gonna get 36 million cars sold which is exceeding elon's expectations because elon said by 2030 they should be selling annually 20 million cars, but here, if they're growing at a 50% rate, it's gonna be close to 36 million annually. So that's insane. Is it impossible? No, I, I think they're gonna to continue to make more gigafactories and making more updates to their product, current production. So I don't see this not being the case, but let's just take things step by step. So 2025, they should be selling almost close to 5 million cars every single year. Now I assume here that they're gonna bring out a new car, a compact car, $25,000 uh, Tesla, which I know in the earnings call, Elon was like laughing and he says that's not going to happen. I think everyone was looking at this at like a very pessimistic view. I really think they will have a compact car. They will have a um, Tesla vehicle for every single um, car category, like a van and then another compact car, things like that. He was just so focused on the FSD and the current productions than a new models. And honestly, he has the right to because they just have so much demand, they can't really deliver it right now. So it doesn't make any sense to start making new models when you can't deliver your current models. But I do believe Tesla or Elon is going to do a lot of surprise announcements with new product launches. I mean, that's a no brainer, that's a no doubt. He even said it in his earning call. 
So like we're gonna see this coming. I really start, I really do believe that this twenty five thousand dollar car is going to come. And knowing that, I think their average cost price, uh, average selling price is going to reduce from fifty thousand to forty five thousand because of this. And in twenty twenty five, the total revenue is going to be two hundred and thirteen, almost two hundred thirteen billion dollars, with a net income of forty nine billion dollars, with the margin being twenty three percent. Now we went from twenty percent in twenty twenty four to twenty three percent, and I think that's going. To, I think that's still being very conservative. But again, we got to keep things conservative. Earnings per share being thirty eight bucks and a PE of 80, that would give us a stock price of 3,000, just over $3,000, with a market cap being close to $4 trillion, which is just absolutely crazy. 2026, again, 50% from 2025, 7.1 million vehicles sold or delivered, with the total revenue being 320 million, net income of 25% margin, almost $80 billion, with the EPS being 60 bucks, with a PE of 70, gives us a stock price of 4,200, just over that, with a market cap being five and a half trillion dollars which is absolutely crazy 2027 will be over 10 and a half million cars delivered total revenue being 480 billion with the net income again 25 percent is going to be fixed from now up until 2030 and this is going to be almost 120 billion dollars in net income which is absolutely insane eps being almost 88 dollars per share with the pe of 60 gives us a stock price of 5257 with a market cap being over 7 trillion dollars which is just absolutely insane so on to 2028 when almost 16 million vehicles are sold with a total revenue of being almost 720 billion with a net income being almost 180 billion eps being almost 128 with the pe of 50 that'll give us a stock price of almost six and a half thousand per share with a market cap almost reaching nine trillion dollars crazy just crazy 2029 almost 24 million vehicles sold with a sales total revenue being over almost 1.1 trillion dollars insane just the vehicles man we're not talking about the full cell driving we're not talking about the solar roof we're not talking about tesla insurance purely sells just cars selling just cars that's it Sheesh. with a net income being almost 270 billion with an eps of almost 186 wow pe of 40 gives us a stock price of seven and a half thousand dollars per share with the market cap being almost 11 trillion dollars just freaking going to the moon man and last but not least in 2030 almost 36 million vehicles sold total revenue being almost more than 1.6 trillion in sales with net income being over 400 billion dollars eps being crazy 271 bucks which is just absolutely crazy pe of 30 which is reasonable i guess and probably not because they're probably gonna have another cool product coming at that time like the tesla bot if that ever becomes like the next tesla back in 2019 that'll blow everything up who knows that'll give us a stock price of over eight thousand dollars per share with the market cap being 12 trillion wow just wow but this is just a base case so from now till then it's a 12x you know you're gonna you're gonna 10x your money you're gonna 12x your money man and i don't think the shares outstanding is going to be this low i think three percent is high at this point i think they're probably buy back one percent but again we're keeping things very conservative but still that's crazy here's the chart how it looks like for the base case it's literally going to the moon it's absolutely crazy now let's go ahead and talk about the bull case in my opinion i don't think tesla's gonna deliver 1.4 million cars i really don't my gut is really telling me it's going to be 2 million. It's going to be a big surprise, man. It's really going to be a big surprise. In earnings calls, they said that they can just they can do over a million in production or deliveries for just Shanghai. That's just Shanghai. You you know, they have Fairmount factory, they have the Berlin that's about to open, and they have Austin that's going to open end of this quarter. Easy 2 million, right? Easy 2 million. But again, I myself don't want to look at it at the best case scenario. I like to have con a little, I like to be a little conservative in my own approach, just in case I am let down a bit, I'm not too surprised. For 2022, I said that easily they should be able to perform 
seven million cars. They should be able to deliver that much. The average selling price is going to be the same at 50,000 up until 2024 with the margin of net income going to be 15% and we get 85 billion with a net income being almost 13 billion. EPS being $10.81. Again, with a PE of 170, we're going to keep everything the same with the Tesla stock price going to be over 1800 bucks with a market cap being over $2 trillion. I see this happening easy if they do 1.7 million cars, which I think they're going to do more than that. I really do believe that in 2023, they will easily do 3 million because they're going to have the Gigafactories full capacity. Berlin, Austin is going to be at full force by 2023. And I see 3 million as like easy peasy lemon squeezy in my opinion. Elon even said that by 2025, they should do 10 million in vehicles. I think he's getting ahead of himself, but he knows more than we do, obviously. Anywho, 3 million, that would give us a total revenue of 150 billion. And with a net income of 18% margin, will give us 27 billion with EPS being over 22 bucks. PE the same of 130 gives us a Tesla stock price of almost 3000. That's just insane with the market cap being three and a half trillion. Crazy. In 2024, I believe they can really produce and sell 5 million, but I don't want to get ahead to myself to March, so I said 4.8, and this would give us a total revenue of 240 billion with a net income of 20% this time, of 48 billion with an EPS of being over 38 bucks, PE of being 100, and this would give us a stock price of almost 4,000 with a market cap being almost 5 trillion. And from 2025 and onwards, I said from now they're gonna do 50% every year, and we would get all this number, which is crazy because by 2030, almost 55 million cars delivered and produced i mean that's just insane but by 2030 guys we're gonna have more gigafactories and it's just it's a very big possibility going back to 2025 7.2 million cars would give us a 324 billion with the average price of 45,000 again because new products coming out new cars 25,000 35,000 new tesla coming out i still really do believe in that so that's going to drop the average selling price to 45,000 and this is what we get with a net income margin of 23 percent and we will get almost 75 billion in an income crazy eps of almost 58 bucks with the pe of 80 will give us almost four and a half thousand dollars as tesla stock price with the market cap being almost six trillion crazy again but not impossible 2026 being almost 11 million cars sold which is just crazy total revenue is going to be almost half a trillion by 2026 that's just insane net income being at a 25 percent right now up until 2030 and this would give us almost 122 billion with the eps being almost 92 91 and a half pe of 70 will give us six and a half thousand dollars per share with a market cap being eight and a half trillion 2027 over 16 million cars sold almost 730 billion in total revenue with the net income being 183 billion earnings per share being over 133 and a PE of 60 will give us Tesla stock price at 8,000 with almost 11 trillion in market cap which is absolutely insane 2028 over 24 million cars sold annually with a total revenue exceeding 1 trillion almost 1.1 trillion net income being 273 billion EPS being over 194 I mean that's just insane can really can Tesla really achieve these numbers man it's, it's sometimes it's crazy. With the PE of 50, we'll give you almost 10,000, almost 10,000 in Tesla stock price per share with a market cap of $13.6 trillion. Sheesh. 2029, almost 36 and a half million cars sold annually with the total revenue being one over 1.6 trillion. Just cars alone. Jesus, is this even realistic? With a net income being 410 billion, EPS being 283, almost 283 with the PE of 40 will give us a stock price of over 11,000 per share, almost 16 and a half trillion in market cap. And last but not least, 2030 being almost 55 million in cars sold annually. I'm not even too sure if that's possible. I mean, Geez, who knows how 2030 is going to look like, man. But that will give us a total revenue of almost $2.5 trillion with a net income being $615 billion. <laughs> with the EPS of almost 412 bucks. Like, bro, that's just... Like, at this point, it, it's, it feels like a fantasy, man. With a PE of 30, will give us over $12,000 per share per stock price with a market cap of over $18 trillion. That's just insane. I don't even know if these numbers are 
are even real just by vehicles alone. I can if, if this was numbers with like all the other things combined, like the solar and you know the FSD and all that kind of stuff, it's more convincing. But with this, we don't know. But it's Tesla; they always surprises us in a good way, obviously. So let's see if this is realistic. If that's the case, I mean, I'm already going all in on Tesla, man. But um, let's see. I think this is a very good prediction in my opinion. Not too sure how it's going to look like from 2026 and onwards. Numbers are too big for me to comprehend, to be honest with you. Elon doesn't seem to fail us. Tesla does not seem to fail us. So let's see what happens till then. Here's how the stock price chart looks like. It's really going to the moon. But I really do think this is reasonable. I really do think it is. Now for you guys to look at it more um, comparable, here's the um, base case and here's the bull case. Um, as the chart wise and here's also the chart as well comparing each other which is just absolutely crazy later in the years from 2027 and onwards the base case looks more reasonable but the bull case in the short term looks more reasonable so let's see what we get as time goes on you know now if you guys listen to um tesla's earnings call with elon musk he said that every year they can comfortably do 50 percent comfortably yes i do agree but for the short term years for the next three or four years i think they can do upwards of 70 to 80 percent and honest, honestly, I think we are really underestimating what they can really do with the new gigafactories coming into play. So 50% comfortably is more than realistic. He also said something that everyone and the Wall Street people did not like, and that was that pushing all the models, not gonna work on any new models. They're just gonna focus on model three and why. And honestly, I mean, that's the right thing to do at the moment. I mean, just think about it like this. You open up a new store and the store is booming. You know, there's a lot of buzz going around. People are coming in. They're buying, you have lots of demand, but you don't have the capacity to, to fulfill the demand. And in the middle of all this, you want to go and open a second shop. Bruh. You're going to fail, man. I'm sorry, but you're going to have a very, very hard time. You need to first focus on this first shop to get it nice and ready, making sure that demand, whatever demand comes, you can always deliver and fulfill. Once that's done, then you go and open a second shop or a second store. Things are more controllable and you can grow on scale a lot faster than not when everything is crazy. Not, not when the first shop is going crazy with the man you can't fulfill and you want to put your focus on something else. You're going to fail, man. That's exactly what Elon is doing. That's exactly what Tesla is doing. They say, you know what? We have these all these demands for Model 3 and Y. Let's focus on these, let it get it out. And once supply chain issues are kind of more catching up to date, we will, work, we will focus on more of the other products. I have a truck, you know, the other $25,000 um, Tesla car, which I still do believe that they're gonna do, even though he laughed at it. They will bring it out later on down the line with other surprising models. And Elon Musk did say this. He says that later on this year, we will have some surprise announcements for products and gigafactories. So expect to hear that they're probably gonna do gigafactories later on this year, maybe in, I don't know. I have, I have a really strong feeling they're probably gonna do one in Dubai. I want to see why they wouldn't do one there. It's one of the best business hubs in the world and probably one or two gigafactories uh, more in 2022 in this year. So we're going to see a lot of surprises as we go on because that's, that's what Elon wants. He wants surprises. So at the end of the day, I think the earnings call could have been much more clearer to investors. But at the end of the day, when you look at the micro the microeconomics of Tesla, it's a monster machine. You cannot stop it. You will not stop it. If you go against it, you will be hurt. And at a day like today and a week like today, when the stock is down below 900 bucks and for a little bit, it went below 800. You just got to go all in, man, and grab as much share as you can because you will not see this stock price this low unless we have a major, major stock market crash in the next four or five years. And if you're thinking of selling, do not sell because that's probably going to be the biggest mistake of your life. Just hold on to your shares, chill, buy more if you can. Tesla is not like one of those, you know, growth stocks that's not making any money and doesn't have good fundamentals. Tesla is literally changing the world. You see their products every day and, you know, and just don't underestimate them, man. Do not underestimate them. And we are going to the moon. And based on the prediction that we did on the base case, you already know that the stock price is going to be just crazy high. So don't panic, don't worry, and buy as much as you can right now because it's honestly the best time. I'm selling all my other shares, the, one that I, the ones that I believe in heavily, just to buy Tesla more. That's how sure and confident I am in Tesla. But this is only a prediction and nothing more and nothing less. What you guys can do though, you guys can like come back to this video and use it kind of like a guide that if Tesla hits these numbers every quarter, you can add them up or every year, the stock price should be this amount. But again, it's just a prediction. I hope I'm wrong by a mile so the stock can move a lot 
faster and just go a lot harder but it's just a prediction you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow so I'll take this video as a grain of salt anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that like button if you guys did enjoy this video check out these other stock price predictions you'll definitely enjoy them and don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you guys in the next video see ya